What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are back here at the iDry360 location to see what's going on with that new 40 attraction. So let's head inside and check it all out. And there we have it guys. The walls are actually down. As we can see, everything's down. They do have barriers up right here and signs saying, hey, don't go into this area. It's still under construction. But we have a name for it, the 70 Dark Ride Adventure. Uh, again, we've seen these at IAPA. They're very popular, but they do have the kiosk set up, everything else that. They do have photos. Uh, they are showing what looks to be like a robot cowboy film. It does say that it is a moderate ride description. Maximum weight, 350 pounds. So, information. But there are the screens right there showing off how you actually shoot and watch a movie in there. Our friends from Triotech, they do some really amazing rides, so this one should be uh, equally awesome as well. But we'll walk around real quick, take a couple more looks. More ride warning signs around the area again. Don't ride if you uh, pretty much have bad neck, heart, all that sort of stuff. But uh, they do have an interesting thing here. For the little ones, you have to be at least three foot four inches to get on this. So the seats actually do move around. Uh, it's not too jarring again. It has a moderate ride description. But of course, they have to cover their butts and have rider safety information. There is an option for a couple different films. They have one right here that is Road Fighters. So they do have uh, different styles you can actually do for the film. So we saw the Robot Cowboy. They have this one that looks almost like a Mad Max kind of thing. But uh, that is the beauty of these theaters is you can flip a switch and change the entire show for a brand new experience. Something also to note, they have these incredibly bright LED lights all over the entire attraction and it definitely catches the eye as you walk in at night. It's going to be very bright, vibrant, even during the day it's very bright, but awesome stuff seeing these LEDs on here. The permit is still here of course, so that means they are still doing some work for it, but I honestly think guys this is probably going to be open in the next couple days, uh, if not by this weekend. Today is Wednesday, so I'm thinking hopefully by this weekend we should be operational. Everything in there looks like it's ready to go. They have the seats, they've been doing some testing with the film, but very soon guests are going to be able to try the 7D Dark Ride Adventure. One last thing to note is the Orlando Eye is actually currently closed right now. On their website they have it listed as it's down due to inclement weather reasons. It got struck by lightning. Uh, but they do expect to have the ride open in the next couple days. So uh, if you are visiting it will probably be open but uh, we'll keep you updated guys. But that's going to do it for our update from the iDrive360 location. If you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I'll see you out on the Midway.